Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. This is Muhammad Kamrud Jaman. Welcome you all to my YouTube channel, Shorts and Cut. Today, I'd like to discuss about the latest political situation in Bangladesh. Before the next national elections likely to be held in December this year or January 2024, the main political debate or political conflict or political tensions uh, may be developed around the election time government system because all political parties, especially the opposition political parties, uh, BNP, Bangladesh Nationalist Party and its all allies, they are very strictly demanding that without a non-partisan caretaker government system, they will not take part in any election and even they will not allow for holding any election. But from the government side, especially Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on Wednesday declared very straightforwardly that the power will not be handed over to any non-elected force or element even for a single day. It means that caretaker government system will not be restored as demanded by the opposition parties. So uh, there will be a political tension in near future ahead of the next national elections. It's very clear. So what's the solution? Uh, to me, amicable political dialogue between the government or ruling Awamilik party and the opposition parties uh, can be a very uh, a good way uh, to, to sort out a solution uh, in this regard. And I think uh, the international communities, especially uh, the big countries that have a very good ties with a ruling Awamilik party uh, or government uh, and the opposition parties, they can also uh, propose or encourage uh, the existing political parties in Bangladesh uh, for holding a dialogue. Uh, because in this situation, uh, without political dialogue, the conflict will be intensified in, in near future and uh, uh, that will be uh, very chaotic I think as per the long political trend in this country. Even uh, on Wednesday Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina very clearly uh, said that uh, they are elected government and the opposition parties who are demanding uh, uh, who are uh, claiming or accusing these uh, government as non-elected government. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina uh, replied uh, that question and said that uh, they are not non-elected uh, government. Uh, rather, uh, the history of Bangladesh Nationalist Party, BNP, uh, has uh, to come to power uh, without election. And uh, Sheikh Hasina especially uh, mentioned about the history of late President uh, Gio Rahman. And he, she also disclosed uh, data uh, about the killing or torching houses or other uh, human rights violations uh, during the governance of uh, BNP and its ally. Uh, on the other hand, BNP leaders uh, in their uh, regular public uh, meetings or uh, public rallies, uh, they are claiming that uh, there were huge irregularities uh, during the 2018 and uh, 2020, uh, 2014 uh, national elections, especially uh, ballot stuffing and other uh, intimidations uh, in the election. Uh, however, I don't like to say more about it because uh, you know Bangladesh is a democratic country and political debate uh, or, or is a beauty of uh, democracy and it's very natural that uh, the ruling party will uh, try to uh, gain public support, uh, claiming uh, the opposition parties. On the other hand, opposition parties will also uh, try to uh, get public support, uh, mentioning different uh, irregularities under this government. So I don't like to uh, say more on this. This is a part of a democracy and democratical uh, system. Uh, but what I want to say is that uh, in this conflicting situation, uh, the role of election commission is very much important, though they have already uh, declared uh, and assured people that uh, they would hold a very, uh, very uh, free, fair and inclusive national election. Uh, but uh, 
uh, the opposition parties are not trusting this uh, assurance. However, uh, in this situation, the uh, uh, a way for solution uh, can be uh, can be come out from the amicable. Uh, dialogues between the government and the opposition parties and hope that dialogue would be held uh, in near future. No more today. Thank you very much to stay with me. Hope to see you again with any other interesting topic. Until that time, stay safe. Bye for now. Please stay with me with my YouTube channel, Shorts and Cut.